Hey guys, welcome back to Release the Crafting. Uh, welcome back to my channel. We are here for another quickie sticky unboxing. Today I just have one sticky club envelope for you guys today. This is the pop pack. And uh, before I get any further, sticky club is a monthly subscription. It's like $14 a month, I believe now. Um, and they have a variety of stickers that are very cool um, in different uh, types. So there's vintage pop and cute um and i usually get vintage and pop but this time i didn't get vintage i can't remember why something about the theme maybe i didn't want it <clears throat> doesn't matter we got this one so we're gonna unbox it today um i'm pretty excited it's been a little bit i feel like since we've done one of these it's probably only been like three weeks but you know like transitioning into the year has um <laughs> left me with the feeling that it's been a decade since things have happened and so here we are. So, first we got to get our little theme out and on to the corner here. The theme for this month was hybrid. And I am already excited um, by the colors that I can see. This design, which seems to be carrying through. Oh. All right. So, ooh, it's glittery. It's like, um, it's not like... It doesn't feel glittery. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like shimmer paper. Like, pearlized. It's pearlized, you guys. That's really cute. And it's a little sticker book. So, like, these little books you can use to store your stickers in, especially if they're, like, the tape kind. And then you can just cut them out and use them as you need it. And if you have, like, sticker anxiety and aren't ready to commit to sticking your stickers, like, on things, you could stick them in this book and then have them there. And at least they'd be serving their stickerly purpose. And then we got some big stickers this time, and I am excited because I'm pretty sure... Oh, we got one big sticker and little tiny clear stickers. Okay, I'm excited because I know that this is by Fifal, and I follow her on Instagram, and I absolutely love her art. Totally obsessed. I want to get her art book so bad. This is really great. It's like a nice, high-quality vinyl sticker. Oh, you can't see it. Um... <laughs> She has, like, a whole series of, like, the life cycles and then, like, the the anthropomorphized body type is, like, from young to old. And I just, I love this so much. I love this series. I love this sticker. Um, and then here is my cat, Smokey, also enjoying the stickers because this is just, you know, my life right now. Um, and I could be mean and, like, shout at him to get off my desk, but I'm, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I, I enjoy it. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hi. I'm not mad at him at all. It's only annoying, like, when I have stuff, like, in process or he's sitting on the thing I need. But otherwise, like, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> um, no, well, now I care because I'm doing things. <laughs> hey, bud. Come sit on your spot. I had to make him a spot. If you guys have been watching my videos uh, lately, he's been making an appearance because he sits right to the left of me on top of everything I'm working on. So I cleaned off my desk this morning and made him a special spot of scrap fabric and paper because he only sits on the paper. So at least it's a nice soft spot and hopefully he'll sit there and not on the things I'm actively working on, which he's doing right now. So that's cool. Um, so anyways, <laughs> we got these really cool flower clock type stickers and they are clear, which is neat. And I'm also pretty excited because you can see them really well on this background even though they're transparent. So these are going to be really fun. I really like this, like, natural and, um, let's see. There we go. Industrial, like, aesthetic together. So I love that. I'm going to save those for a cool project. I don't know which one. Um, remind me when I start working on it, though. Like, hey, those cool transparent stickers you have would go really great <laughs> with this project because you're going to forget. I'm going to forget. You're not going to forget. You're going to remember. You have excellent memories. I have faith in you. So I, I don't have to put these away right now, but compulsions are compulsions, and we're just going to live with those. And then back here, ugh, that was a thick, this is a thick pack. We have our sheets, and this is by Dre Doodles. Dre Doodles, a couple A's, a long A there. And these are really pretty. 
It's like insect meets girly, and I'm here for it. I love this. These like cicada wings. This little moth wing or butterfly wing like teacup. That would be so cute. Someone should make that. I love this. This is a really neat little pack. Or set. Look at the little bumblebee teacup. That's really cute, guys. Oh, and they're they're clear. I don't know if you can see, but they're they're actually clear stickers. So that's a bonus. Those are pretty neat. And then there are some chocolate covered strawberries. There's a lot of chocolate covered strawberries. These are really cute. I'll have to find a place for those. Perfect for the upcoming Valentine season. These are by Katie Lipscomb. I know it's her socials. And they're little butterfly dragons. They're total little hybrids. A little moth. This little moth one is so pretty. Oh, look at that. The rose dragon. These are so pretty. Love that. Excited for this. This is going to go in the hoard pile, you guys, already. These are also from Fifal. And she does Funguary, too. So, like, if you follow her now, you'll be in time to see uh, her February... February... Words are really hard. Her February... I, oh, I can't even say it now. Her February... <laughs> uh mushroom like art challenge it's, it's kind of like um inktober but in february with mushrooms um and i saw her post for that so i'm excited to see what she does this year but these look like last year's look at this like old lady mushroom like they're just so they're so cool <laughs> look at that one i would totally let like a mushroom spirit make me cookies in the woods and that's probably how i get abducted by the fae like honestly they would just have to show up and be like grandmotherly mushroom and have a tray of cookies. But these are so pretty and I love them. So those are hoarding. Definitely going to hoard those forever and ever. These are by Teabag Cartoon. And I don't know if there's a good way to show these. <laughs> we'll use my hand. But there's a shrimpanzee and a butterfly. And a salamander. Salamander? Salamander. A goat meal? <laughs> goat meal is probably my favorite right now um but you guys get it they're like these really cool little mashup pun names a unicorn a burrito <laughs> okay i know i love these these are great <laughs> those are really cute little hybrids and we also have this sheet by Water the Moon. Yeah, Water the Moon. Water Moon. And it is a bunch of mermaids. And I love this little black and white one. This monochrome. Really cute. These are really cute little mermaids. They're not uh, people of color, <laughs> but that's okay because they're still pretty cute. I'm going to use these for sure. I really like this one. She seems cool. And then the last sticker sheet, right? Yes. Yes. The last sticker sheet we have is by Caitlin Hoyt. And they're like mashup pets. It's like a gerbil dragon and a hummingbird cat. That's a little upsetting. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that one's a little upsetting. But this is cute. Look at this little like. Bulldog snail. These are really cute, guys. So what an interesting pack we got. Um, a lot of like really fun hybrid stickers. I really love this one. I love these like kind of mashup things. And what's interesting about this set is that we got seven sheets. Um, and only one of them was Sticky Club. And usually it's like three or four are Sticky Club. And then like three or four are um, by artists. But we got six independent artists. Or seven, six, six, six independent artist sheets. And only one Sticky Club sheet. So that's really interesting. So I don't know if that has anything to do with like the updated price change or anything like that. Like now, now maybe they're able to contact more artists. Or that was just like the luck of the draw for the month. But that was really exciting. And I really love... Um, this set. I'm super excited. Let me know um, what you guys thought, what your favorite sheet was in the comments below, and um, I will catch you guys all in the next one. Till then, happy crafting! Bye!
Thank you.